All right, guys. Figured I'd make a video on how to make stone crab traps out of milk crates. Looked on YouTube, I couldn't really find a whole bunch other than some drunk guy babbling about something. So I figured I'd try to make a video. I don't do many videos, but right, here we go. So what I've done is I took, uh, cut the bottom out of uh, one milk crate to make the lid for another one. And what I did is I drilled holes all in the milk crate of the bottom one. Took some real heavy zip ties. They're probably three eighths of an inch thick. I don't know if you can really see that, but pretty thick. Let it hinge. Then uh, I was trying to do this project as cheap as possible. And I was trying to find something around the house here that would serve as a funnel. But they had these guys online, leafisher.com, 89 cents a piece. I'm like, I might as well just order them. And it's actually the uh, specified size for state of Florida, FWC. And also, we got the chew-out piece here. This is in case you get a ghost trap, rope gets cut, what have you. They're supposed to be able to chew their way out of that. Seems like it'd take a long time, but maybe so. Who knows? Uh, and I, what I also zip-tied that guy on there, drilled holes, zip-tied it in there. And got my little bait holder here it's a piece of three inch pvc just got a little cap on top put your bait down in there cap back on probably doesn't even really need a cap but had them laying around so figured i'd do it well for ballast i took 20 pounds of uh ready mix put it in the bottom and before i did that i actually took a piece of all thread. I don't know if you can see the little all thread, just a continuous threaded rod. This is quarter inch. I just put it through there. Kind of give something concrete to hang on to. Maybe or maybe not necessary. Who knows? Figured I'd just try to make it a little better. And then uh, this year, the state of Florida requires you to have all your traps registered, even for recreation. They give you a number. So I went ahead and scratched the number down on the concrete. So It'll be there, not going anywhere, I don't believe. And also, I took, and I took a pencil torch and I put my, melted it into the plastic of the crab trap. I figured the more places you have it, the better to be identified. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, other than the closure here, it's really just a cheap uh, Harbor Freight uh, bungee cord. With a hook on the end i had to modify the hook cut some parts off of it but uh here's the one here's how they come from harbor freight I had to cut all the little uh hooks and pieces off of them but uh they actually work pretty good got the ball won't slip through there i got three or four knots tied in it there pretty cheap it was like five bucks for 10 or 12 something like that so but Got my five traps here. That's all you're allowed to have, state of Florida per person. And got 75 foot of 3 8 rope that I'm using for my uh, for my buoys to tie the uh, onto the trap. Uh, not using 75 per trap. I'm just just bought 75 foot of rope. It was five dollars for that as well. Cheap enough. And um, bought some buoys from a local place here. They were actually uh, three bucks a piece, and the state of Florida requires you to have an R on there for uh, recreation. So that's what I got there. I'm trying to stay legal. You know how it is. Uh, seems like the man's always after you for something. So, anyways, you're gonna have to have two milk crates per trap. You got to sacrifice one for the uh, for the bottom, like so, and. To make a lid so i was kind of thinking about i'm going well after i poured the concrete looking down in there there wasn't a whole lot of room and i'm thinking i'm just trying to figure in my head how many crabs i'll be able to keep in there without having to check it so i figured i'd if i was going to use one trap i might as well use uh i'm i'm sorry in one milk crate i might as well use two oh, i'd like to thank my sponsor here by the way bush light bush so uh 
what I did is I still cut the bottom out of uh, cut the bottom out of one mill crate and I used it for the door as well same thing zip drilled holes zip tied in there two piece and now you have uh, twice the room twice the capacity I don't have to check them quite as often and I got the same big heavy zip ties I drilled holes all the way around zip tied it in there zip tied it together I'd recommend using the big zip ties the big thick ones uh, the little ones that could give way so anyways uh, I haven't even run these traps yet but we're about to put them out tomorrow and then in about two weeks my oldest son will be 16 he can have his five traps so we'll have 10 all together we already got those over there sitting on the ready um, for him so hopefully we'll be able to uh, get quite a few stone crab traps built and stone crabs in our belly so anyways hopefully the video was helpful and if you got any questions want to see any more pictures or anything just send me a message i'm not a big youtube guy but uh hopefully it was helpful